Welcome back everybody. Today I have a science experiment for all of you called snowstorm in a jar. So what you're going to need for this experiment is some water, a measuring cup, a spoon for mixing, a jar, some Alka-Seltzer tablets, baby oil, and some white paint. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fill your jar two thirds of the way up with baby oil. Then you're going to add a fourth a cup of water. And you're gonna mix in some white paint. And that's what you need your spoon for. You're gonna mix your paint and your water together. Mia's gonna help out with this one again today. I'm going to add a little more paint. Okay, I'm going to show you this. So here's our paint and water mixture. It's pretty much mixed up. So then you're going to add that to your baby oil. Okay, once you have added your baby oil and your paint and water mixture, it's going to look a little like this. So the last thing that you need to do is add your Alka-Seltzer tablets. I got mine from the Dollar Tree because as we know, a lot of the medication is minimal at Target and Walmart. So I got four tablets for a dollar. So I broke up my Alka-Seltzer tablet into some little pieces and then I'm going to add those slowly to my jar. So I'll show you what it's starting to do. How neat is that? So if you want, you can add another Alka-Seltzer tablet to your jar, but look at what's happening inside of the jar. Pretty neat, right? So let's talk a little about the science behind what's happening in our snowstorm in a jar. There's a lot of cool science stuff going on right here. To start, you can see that the water is a little heavier than the oil in our jar. So they sink to the bottom of the jar and the water doesn't mix with the oil. So it always separates into different layers. You can see that the paint also is separating from the baby oil. The paint is water-based. So when we put it in our measuring cup, we were able to mix the water and the paint together. But once we added it to our jar, it wanted to separate from our baby oil. When we added the Alka-Seltzer, it has sodium, which is found in baking soda. And when that mixes, it starts to foam and it rises up to the top of the oil. But when it's released into the air, the water falls back down. So that's how we're getting our snow effect in our jar. So basically, we have a jar that's fizzing up and we just keep seeing those bubbles rising and falling, rising and falling, which is giving it that snowstorm effect. If we add more Alka-Seltzer to our jar, we start to get more of our snow or fizzing effect. How neat is that? I hope you enjoyed this experiment and that you can try it at home. And as always, post down below if you have any questions or let me know how this experiment worked for you. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.